The king has arrived. Monkey King is the first hero that was not in the original Dota and was added to Dota 2 in the latest patch 7.0. He's a very complex hero with tons of different mechanics and in this video I will explain all of them. Make sure to check out our other videos about this hero where we will go into more detail about his playstyle. In this video I will talk about how his spells work. So if you haven't checked out his spells yet, you can click the link in the description to do so. Monkey King is a melee agility hero that has a very large attack range of 300. This is insane because he gets better stats on items such as Basha or Vanguard and it gives him an advantage while laning, allowing him to CS and zone a lot better. Pair that with his passive and you have found yourself an extremely strong laner. But more about that later. Let's talk about his abilities. One thing that is remarkable is that he has a lot of utility spells with his second ability, Tree Dance, and his innate ability, Mischief. These abilities alone are quite complex, so let's sit down and take a close look. First of all, his innate ability, Mischief. He will have this ability from the start of the game, and you don't have to put any points into it. The way this works is, depending on what is close to you, you will change your appearance. If you are close to trees, you will turn into a tree. If there is nothing special close to you, you will turn into a random cheap item. If you are on the rune spot, you will become a rune and in rush pit, you will become an Aegis. You can also turn into a walking courier, but we don't know for sure what triggers it. It seems to work more when you are in base or around creeps. If you already upgraded the courier, you will turn into a flying courier. So what is it good for? It's obviously good for triggering your enemies when you're walking around as a courier and pop out to kill them. On a more serious note, this has some real uses. For example, McKeith would generally slow your movement, but when you're a courier, your movement speed will be 350, which is more than his base movement speed of 305. But the question is, when you use Mischief, can the enemy tell whether you're a TP Squall or you're actually the Monkey King? And here's the thing, they actually can't. There's no visual difference between a Monkey King that is using McKeith and a tree or a dropped item. That makes this very good in lower ranks and undoubtedly will create a lot of great videos for Fates of the Week. In higher ranks, you probably can't use this for juking as enemies can actually click you while you're mischieving and they will see that you're the Monkey King. Mischief has a lot of potential for ganks however, as you can hide in lane to set up a gank. You can also confuse enemies by dropping real clarities around the map, so a bunch of different plays are definitely possible. We're not done yet though, there's still a lot of crazy things about this that we gotta talk about. When running through enemy towers and cover, you won't be attacked at all. This might be unintended, but if it stays that way, it's insane for obvious reasons. Another crazy thing is that enemies cannot see your health while you're using Mischief. That creates a lot of confusion, especially when you have heals on the team. Just imagine chasing a low HP Monkey King who suddenly becomes a courier and comes back with full health because Omni Knight healed him. Mischief also cancels creep aggro, as long as you don't do it in the middle of one of their attacks or there is no projectile already in the air. This allows for a lot of exploitation and I'm sure people will find a way. This helps him a lot while jungling, since you can cancel aggro any time. Creeps also won't target you while you're using Mischief. There's no minimap indicator for enemies, so this can be compared to PA's passive to an extent, although you will still be visible while farming creeps. Mischief can also be used to turn into a tree while you're sitting on a tree, making you a tree that is on a tree. That alone is pretty cool, and the mere sight is sure to trigger your enemies. Okay, we just talked about an innate ability for over 3 minutes, so let's get to his second spell, which is similarly complex. His second ability consists of two spells that take up the second and third slot and will both be skilled whenever you put points into it, but only Primal Spring actually scales, and Tree Dance will have his full strength at level 1. Tree Dance probably makes Monkey King the most agile hero in the game, being comparable to Weaver's Shukuchi. He has a very low cooldown of 3 seconds, 
meaning you're probably going to be using this to move around the map. Enemies can't see you on a tree unless they have flying vision and when you jump in between trees you're visible as well. This makes it a very good ganking spell when paired with his primal spring which we will talk about later. While you're on the ground it works like Brink Dagger so if you are damaged it will go on cooldown. But while you're on a tree the cooldown will be unaffected when you get hit. This means when you're trying to escape you need to avoid damage so that you can jump to safety. Does this make tree dance a bad escape option? HELL NO! A 3 second cooldown is very low and remember that you actually have a 2 second AOE stun and since you can of course jump over any high ground I would actually say in its current state this is the best utility spell in the game and might get nerfed very soon. There's another downside to this. If your tree is destroyed while perched on a tree you will fall and get stunned for 4 seconds. This means don't jump on trees that are easily reachable or you'll probably die. This also means quelling will counter this hero quite a bit and heroes that can easily destroy trees counter you pretty hard as well. Another interesting thing is when you're on a tree and try to jump back onto the ground it puts the spell on cooldown and will only work when it's ready. Another incredibly strong aspect of the spell is the fact that it gives you flying vision in the area that you are in. Paired with the insanely low cooldown, it makes juking Monkey King nearly impossible. It should also protect him from ganks quite a bit, as you can jump around trees in between creep waves and spot heroes hiding in trees. Or if you see a gang coming, you can quickly jump into a group of trees. While this is undoubtedly a very strong spell, it is counterable. When ganking this hero, you need to bring tangos or quelling and try to destroy a tree which he is perched on. This will allow a pretty easy kill as he won't even be able to jump back up a tree after being stunned since it will go on cooldown whenever you hit him. The second part of this ability, Primal Spring, can only be used while on a tree. The damage is quite high and it applies a good slow. This is a decent spell for initiating fights and probably also for farming. If you ask me though, Monkey King needs help from his allies to succeed in killing anything, so the main use of this will be to initiate ganks. The range is fairly good, but the channel is long, making this a little bit tricky to hit. It's worth noting though that the channel can be cancelled for an instant jump, but much da less damage and slow. This is a way however to get off a tree, since like I mentioned before, you actually need to have your jump off cooldown in order to jump back down. Meaning Primal Spring can also be used to escape when your tree dance is on cooldown. Moving on to his aggressive spells, his ult and his first spell. Monkey King's first spell, Boundless Strike, is pretty straightforward. A 2 second AoE stun with a pretty long range and a big cooldown. What's worth mentioning is that this actually quits the enemy. This means that this scales very well into the late game. The damage is the same from level 1 and the only thing that scales is the stun duration. This is another thing that might get changed since right now this is one of the highest value spells in the game requiring only one ability point for the full damage throughout the whole game. One could assume that this spell is similar to Amber Spirit's Slide of Fist but that's not true because it has a very long cooldown. His late game doesn't evolve around Boundless Strike and it also doesn't interact with cleave or similar mechanics. The way I see it, this spell is for initiating as it's a very high range stun, but it's also a potent poke since the damage scales into the late game. Monkey King's ultimate, Wukong's command, fits very well into his kit because it's another insanely powerful and ridiculous spell. You might wonder, how do the soldiers work? Look no further because I'm about to tell you. So you spawn 14 soldiers that are stationary and will attack any hero in their range. And yes, they have your attack, meaning they will proc items. One hero can be hit by as much as 4 soldiers at a time depending on where they are. If you ever move outside the area, the soldiers all disappear, so don't do that. This spell has a very long channel and the soldiers have to move out before they attack, 
making this a very clunky slow spell. The obvious counter to this is to disengage and wait for the duration to be over, so in order for this to work out well, you need a setup such as Void or Magnus. Have I mentioned that you can use every single one of your spells while on the tree? It's pretty much needed for this spell, since enemies will just run away when they see you channel. You and all your soldiers get bonus damage during this, but your passive does not work on the soldiers. The synergies are of course insane, since any item can be procced by the soldiers. Which items are actually good? We need to find out first, since we don't know about the current hero timings. In my opinion, Monkey King is a very fast hero that wants to fight a lot early. So, Desolator comes into mind as an item choice, since it builds well with Blightstone, which also procs with your ultimate. Whenever you're going into the late game, you probably want a basher, since the power with his ult is again crazy. One thing to keep in mind though is that the soldiers have a very low attack speed, meaning procs will not hit a lot and orb effects will be better. Diffusal is another item that sounds very good since you're an agility hero and you also benefit from the slow and everyone will have his mana burned when you ult. So what kind of hero is Monkey King? Of course, we don't know for sure. He sure seems like a safe lane carry that can create a lot of kills together with his supports. He could also be a good roamer since he has a lot of ganking options and he's quite strong at level 3 since his abilities have pretty good base damage. And with the new runes and shrines, we might see a lot of heroes in the roaming positions that previously couldn't do it. He might also be a viable mid hero, mainly due to the fact that he's literally a ranged melee hero. This, together with his passive, makes him a scary, scary laner. However, there are not a lot of trees around the mid lane, which means that he can't really escape ganks when he's playing middle. One thing to keep in mind is that he will surely be changed somehow. New heroes are always stronger since they are being tested and I can almost guarantee you that his passive will have some of its duration taken away. Because right now, after we receive the buff after hitting 4 times, it will never run out, which is ridiculous. But then again, it's Ice Rock, so who knows? All we know is, this hero is extremely fun and it introduces some pretty cool mechanics. And this wraps up our first video. Let us know in the comments what you think about the new hero and subscribe to our channel if you want to get notified for new uploads. So thanks a lot for watching and we will see you next time.